Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. My name is Evelyn Barto and I thought I would do a little intro for today's video because it's going to be different. It's going to be a personal Akashic Records reading with Jesse Rogers. The Akashic Records, it's like a huge database that contains all the information about the universe and it contains all the information about you, your origins, your past lives, your future lives, everything. Jesse is a certified reader and what is interesting is that just a few months ago I started to think about wanting to access the Akashic Records so I wanted to learn how to do that. I was just doubting my abilities so much that I thought I would waste my time. I had so many questions and I was so curious about certain things. Then Jessie showed up. We connected on a social media group and she approached me and she said that, oh, let's do a collaboration. I'm an Akashic Records reader. And I love how these things work that whenever the student is ready, the teacher will show up. So we did the reading two days ago and it took me 48 hours to process that information. I'm still digesting the information because there was a lot that I probably didn't expect. But now things are making sense. I'm understanding why I have been feeling down in the past one week. All of a sudden, I started to feel this emotional pain and I didn't know where is it coming from. The pain that I was feeling in my younger years as well, when I was in my 20s. Now I understand where is it coming from. It's related to my past lives. There's a lot that is making sense for me thanks to Jessie. So I'm so grateful for her. She's amazing. It really helped me to understand and remember that I'm so loved and not only by people in this life. And I have some amazing people that I have met that love me. But then I'm also loved by the spirit world and I'm never alone. Whenever I need help, they are there for me and I'm watched upon. I'm even loved by people from my future. So it's crazy. We are never alone. And this was the most important thing that I needed to hear and I needed to remember. It was almost a one hour and a half long reading, but I cut out long pauses, for example, when she's getting information. So just to let you know, and then also I edited out some personal information that I didn't want to share on YouTube. And in case you would like to book a reading with Jesse, I will provide with all the links in the description box below. And also feel free to subscribe to her channel because she has amazing content to share. And she's just a very nice person. She's so lovely. So being that said, and without any further ado, let's get into it. Hello, everybody. So I'm here with Jesse. How are you, Jesse, today? Are you okay? I'm doing great. Yes, I'm in... <laughs> Arizona, <laughs> a long ways away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Glad that you wanted to do a reading. It's I, I find it really helpful. And um, I, I'm certified in reading the Akashic Records. And the Akashic Records are um, kind of a library database of everything that's ever happened in the universe. So mm. it's really interesting to have a reading and to see, kind of get some, um, a little bit different perspective and some history of your lifetimes. So it's really yeah. cool. I was so excited about that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start reading the prayer. And so we do acknowledge the forces of light, asking for guidance, direction, and courage to know the truth, as it is revealed for our highest good and the highest good of everyone connected to us. O oh, Holy Spirit of God, help me to know Evelyn Barta in the light of the Akashic Records to see Evelyn Barta through the eyes of the Lords of the Records. Enable me to share the wisdom, compassion that the masters, teachers, and loved ones of Evelyn Barta have for her. The records are now open. So give me just a moment. I feel like you have some sadness and some loss. Yeah. And you are trying to... Um, like bolster yourself up for this job that you know you have to do and yeah. of re relaying this information, but it's kind of, who you're feeling a little bit, I know I'm supposed to be doing this. Why am I hurting so bad? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like related to this particular thing, what we are doing right now, or what is going on in my life at the moment? Kind of both. So, both. so like, like feeling like, um, like you're, you should be helping people and healing people, but you're hurting at the same time. Yes. At the yeah. moment. Yes. This is how I feel. Yeah. This is going to pass. This is going to pass. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they don't give me timeline, <laughs> but this is going to pass. I know anyway that it's going to pass. So <laughs> that's fine. There's a little boy energy around you. Do you have a son? Mm, no, not what I know about. No. 
So he's、uh, the best. I can't always tell. <laughs>、mm-hmm. Let me see if I can find out some more. He's not one of your guides, but he just said he just wanted to be here. So、mm-hmm. I'm, I'm getting like he's like nine years old, and、um, is it someone? He was a distant cousin. I'm getting.、Okay. I don't. I don't really know that you knew him or even knew of him. You say that that you heard a story about him one time. He was nine when he passed, or were you nine years old when you passed? Yes, yes. Because I was just talking to my mom about some relatives. Because we went to the cemetery, <laughs> maybe、oh, one、yeah? of them. Maybe one of them. I have to think about it because I, I I can't figure it out. Who can be? And he says he's not he's not your guide or、um, you know he's not really. Even related into the Akashic records, but he just wanted、mm-hmm. to be. He just wanted to be here. here.、Mm-hmm. So good, and that he is he is around you a lot. So I guess he's one of your angels. You would say. Is there any name or? No, he doesn't give anything. Do you want to give me a name at all? He doesn't want to give it right now, at least.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I can see your your guides, your guides, the masters, teachers, and loved ones that are in the Akashic records. But like, there's no one clear. Usually, I get like one clear person,、mm-hmm. and then the other entities. But there's no one clear person that is your guide. It's just more、um, the masters, teachers. You wouldn't recognize them anyway, probably. Are you are you eating salads? <laughs> Lately, not too much. <laughs> Maybe I should. <laughs> Well, because I'm I'm getting like like、uh, okay like I go in and I say okay what do you have for Evelyn and they're like she needs to eat more salads <laughs> yes <laughs> apparently the good、um, like the leafy greens is something that you need right now that that would be、mm-hmm. good for you but not too heavy of dressings <laughs> oh they're saying find a good salad shop and go there often you can、um, stay there and and eat the salads and. I keep seeing you like in an outdoor place and red chairs. I think it's oh, I think it's red chairs and white tables. I'm I'm getting that 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 the space that you find is going to be healing for you, and that eating the salads is going to be healing for you, and、mm-hmm. um, that you can have some tea and some juices, but mainly you need water. Okay. Okay. I'm getting that、um, two lifetimes ago you were you were married and you had three children. And、um, you could not, you could never like really bond with the kids、mm-hmm. very easily, and your relationship with your husband was very difficult, and that has made you a little bit reserved in this lifetime.、Mm, yeah, you really brought that forward, and、mm-hmm. and so you are、um, not not even it's not commitment that you're struggling with. It's、um, Connection,、mm-hmm. it's being connected to someone,、mm-hmm. and it's true. Yeah, I think if you if you know that that the things that happen in that lifetime aren't necessarily going to repeat again, that that might be easier for you just to、um, to know you don't have to go back to that same person that you were. You don't have to go back to the person that you were married to. Mm-hmm. And、um, and you have no obligation to have children, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it's that that kind of set you on the path for this、um, for some of this work that you're doing is the is that you're trying to release the pain through through the work, and right now you're stuck because you are you're kind of like in this box. There's pain on this side. There's pain on this side. <laughs> There's work on this side, and there's work on this side, and like, you don't know which way to turn. You don't know how to get out. Everything kind of hurts in any direction that you go in. Even even the work that you do that you really really love is hurting you. It's just、uh, in the past few days it came back this kind of pain. Yeah. Whew! <laughs> I said, don't worry about the past and go straight up. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> yeah. 
and you've got new levels to get to. I think that you need to to kind of make some connections with some other people and mm -hmm. uh, maybe get in into a class or, um, you know, even like a one day thing would be really good for you mm -hmm. to to help you to um, connect maybe or... to kind of find a support group. So you mm -hmm. because, because you feel a little bit alone to me. And so, um, finding, finding a support group and, um, not that you're going to ask them for support, but it's just going to be, I'm getting revealing if you find more like-minded people. Yeah. Yeah. You need to develop your abilities more mm -hmm. and not be so afraid of them. Meaning the psychic abilities. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting that you were um, in like late 1700s that you were um, a doctor, like a country doctor kind of, and, um, and you saw, saw a lot of suffering with that too. Mm. And so that's also bringing that forward into um, like your healing, your desire to heal and your knowledge because i'm i'm guessing that you say things or know things that you don't know how you know them yeah <laughs> it just comes like a download <laughs> yes. yeah yeah and and so you brought a lot of that forward but it's also brought uh, more pain again so so it's, mm -hmm. it's almost like you're having trouble um you you want the good things from those lifetimes but but you're bringing in the bad things as well just keeping your connection to source and and um affirming that you're just going to bring the good things forward and that you're just going to use the things that you need to know and that you can you're allowed to release that pain um not even as an affirmation but just as a demand like this is how it's going to be I'm leaving as an intention yeah yeah mm -hmm. i'm leaving that pain behind but i'm keeping everything that i need to know that I can use in this lifetime. Cause it's not just one, it's not just two, but it's multiple lifetimes that you're doing that with. What I see is, is like a banner that says mm -hmm. love, you know how it's written like L-O-V, like in small print, you know, it's made out of wood and it's written love. And then you've attached to it is hard. <laughs> so oh okay <laughs> that's my yeah. attachment yes mm, okay i'm ooh, okay i'm getting the physical like you need to do physical work to to kind of get past this um opening up your heart chakra but like literally like standing with your your with your arms wide open and leaning back and actually like like opening up your chest cavity kind mm -hmm. of to where you can start to heal that and you can get some different modalities um that will help also, I don't feel like you're completely blocked or anything, but I think that you're still finding a way to what I'm seeing is like a bypass, like, like it comes up from your chakras and it kind of goes around <laughs> and then out. Like, <laughs> okay. like, like you really want it to be open. You want everything to be okay, but you're just, you're just slightly, um, letting it turn the way it needs to. I'm getting that you need to eat things that are physical representation of the heart. So okay. you need to mm -hmm. and heart cookies. <laughs> I am getting like um, the, the little cherry tomatoes also. Mm -hmm. and okay. Then, and then like a pink cookie, like a, a heart shaped cookie with pink frosting. Yeah. And do you have some other questions for me? Can I ask some questions? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, I have some questions. I have wrote some actually um, about the life purpose. I would like a confirmation. They're like, she knows. <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> yeah. just that that you've got to do more you you have to mm. do more yeah are you good at finding things in the ground i don't know i never thought about that Why? that's so strange i see you like almost as a metal detector <laughs> you can feel the the earth and stuff and and um and find things that have been buried i don't know mm. i don't know what that means okay i definitely feel a connection with earth and i can feel that i need it it's kind of like it needs you to help it to heal too. You just need to spend some time out in the countryside and Yeah, I want to move at some point. I really want to do that. Yeah, that just walking walking around the the countryside would be a good thing for you and for the earth because that's it's like um 
like you're see, sending healing almost to the earth. It's, it's very interesting. It's very cool. There's, there's going to be more revealed to you soon. You're, you're like certain dominoes have to fall before you can get to this next thing. And so it's, it's coming along. But then there's, as you said, there's some pain coming and sometimes I don't know where is it coming from. It's just coming from somewhere and like the past few days and something triggers it or, and I, I don't even know when that trauma happened or so it makes sense about the life when I was a doctor actually. Yeah. And that's a catalyst to help you to heal more so you can learn how to heal others too. Mm -hmm. So, so that's, that's prompting you to seek out healing and to, um, learn some of the different ways of doing stuff. Cause I have sometimes images about like flashbacks, but I, I don't see clearly, but I just have that feeling of mutilation, like someone's legs are being cut or even breast. And I don't know where is it coming from? Is it that I wonder if that was something that you had to do as a doctor. Yeah, now I'm thinking about that. I was thinking about maybe some wars or who knows what I have seen. Let me maybe. see if I can get anything on wars. It was from the doctor stuff. <laughs> that you were a nurse in another lifetime, but but that wasn't as traumatic. And it was it was after the time that you spent as a doctor, it was more modern nursing. It wasn't it wasn't like that. It wasn't so traumatic. So yeah. it's also possible that it could it could be giving you signs of stuff that you can help to heal as well. You know, mm -hmm. not that you can make people regrow limbs, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, but <laughs> but spiritually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling that I'm a star seed, like sort of coming from other planets, and I have some information about it because I received some information. But I would like to know, like, a confirmation if if uh, it's true what I received. Is she a star seed? I got um, that you are and you're from Pleiades. Mm, okay. I guess I'm from Sirius. So but what I got, I'm from Sirius. That, that's what I thought. Huh. Yeah, I don't know anything about Pleiades. I don't really know what it is, but that's what that's what I was told. So, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, I, I'm getting that you, that you have been on Sirius before that you can go to different ones. So mm -hmm. I didn't know that either. I thought that you just go back to one, but um no i think you can be many i think sort yeah of like mix off <laughs> yeah mix dna and your father i'm i'm getting that you asked him to come to earth with you and but you guys are are struggling and what i get is that if you can relax a little bit you'll you'll have a lot more fun together there's there's stuff that you will learn from spending one-on-one -on -one time with your dad that would be good for you to pass on to your children if you have them did you have another question Oh, uh, so I feel like I have a trauma related to abandonment and uh, is it coming from this lifetime? Because I know there's a trauma there and I have to work on. Oh, I'm getting that. Um, you are not choosing you. Hmm. That you are choosing to abandon yourself, basically. Okay, so what I'm getting is that you are... Um, that you are choosing to move away from people mm -hmm. a lot. And um, you think if you get hurt just a little bit, you're gonna get hurt a lot more. And so you're pulling away really fast that some of the pain you have to go through, you can't avoid it. And also I'm again, getting be outside, get, get exercise outside. Mm -hmm. And um, being in nature is really, really important for this yeah you need to have orange around you mm -hmm. i eat orange every day <laughs> okay well uh, it's like representing healing to you mm -hmm. so if you can have the color orange like if you can wear orange or have it have it in your house or something where you're seeing it every day like recognizing that this is that you're healing that you're doing good like, does it have to do with the sacral chakra or why is it orange no no, it's something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's something else. It's like a, I guess it's, it's like a visual representation of nature for you. I'm, I'm getting that, that um, you need to stand in your power, realize how much strength and power you have. So I, what I'm seeing is, is like, there's a bar 
-hmm. there's a bar or a branch across right in front of you. And, and you're like, how do I get past this? How do I get past it? And you just need to duck (laughs) and then you stand up straight and tall and there you are. And it's like, oh, this is, this was so easy. And it's, it's just kind of, um, releasing the fear about it, I think, Mm -hmm. uh, maybe stigma about it and go for it. Yeah, no, you're right. Cause in this area of my life, I feel still quite powerless and it's been a problem for, for a while. And yeah. And the fact that I pull away, that's not power. That's the opposite of it. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got to recognize that and and go forward. Yeah. And you don't have to go forward and hit your head. You have to duck (laughs) and go through. Yeah. Um, Oh yeah. And um, I can feel that many times someone is touching my hair and I was curious, is that a spirit guide? Is angels? (laughs) Who can that be? Can I see the person? Okay. It is someone from your future. (laughs) Okay. Um, (laughs) This lifetime or? This lifetime. Mm -hmm. And, and what I, what I get is that it's your husband, your future husband. So his higher self is touching my hair. I mean, his spirit, because he's still alive, I guess. (laughs) It just, they just say that he checks up on you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm guessing that that would be his higher self. Mm-hmm. Another yeah, dimension. For sure, yeah. They said go eat salads. <laughs> I kind of stopped eating salads, so I have to start again. Yeah. Are okay. you doing like a keto diet or something? Because that was like really like she's uh, gotta have salads. I'm not doing any diet in particular. I'm just trying to be healthy. But in London I used to eat a lot of salads. I have to get back to that lifestyle Mm -hmm. there's the place that you're living you're going to learn some stuff by from living there some things are going to come to you You, you've got to be patient um but it's but but you're okay there so um they're like no sudden moves and the reason that you're there is going to be revealed to you because it's not just what you think it is there's there's more reasons for you being there Mm. And the situation that you're living in is, is good, but you need to let yourself go out to the countryside as often as you can, Yeah, yeah. you know, take little day trips and stuff out to the countryside. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know how this applies to you, but I'm seeing a donkey at the bottom of the well. Okay. (laughs) And I know that like on, there's a thing on Facebook, you know, where, um, the donkey's at the bottom of the well, how do you get the donkey out of the well? you add dirt into the bottom of the well and then the donkey rises up. Mm-hmm. And so I'm guessing that that's like your metaphor <laughs> to, to keep, to keep building your, your base, keep building your foundation and you yeah. will rise. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. You need more light. You really need more sunlight. How do I get communication from my spirit guides? Cause I know that there's intuition and I have a lot of downloads coming, but is there any particular way that they communicate or should I know anything? Um, I see you writing, writing with, with a, with pencil and, or pen and paper. That's, that's the first thing that comes. Yes. That's, that's the way that they want you to, mm-hmm. and you're going to get a lot of information, just write down whatever you can mm-hmm. and, and your mind will sort it out later. Mm-hmm. So just automatic writing, automatic writing. Yeah. And um, it's going to come in several different ways though. That's just one way that it's going to come to you being outside having your heart open you know like with your Mm -hmm. that's you'll you'll get you'll get like little different little tidbits here and there um the other thing is um taking a shower you get Mm -hmm. the negative ions when you're in the shower and so you want to make sure that you that you really clear your mind before you take a shower but the writing is like the main thing for you and also you do need to be outside when it's dark too is what i'm getting so okay. you need to be you need to be able to see the stars also i will definitely yeah, yeah. i get that a lot for me too <laughs> i need to be outside seeing looking we are at star the- seeds that's <laughs> right the other way that she's going to get information that's really really weird um did you ever see um close encounters of the third kind <sighs> i think that, that was I, it I, I don't right? really remember so probably i do but i don't remember maybe my dreams or yeah <laughs> 
he he makes a like a mountain out of mashed potatoes <laughs> okay <laughs> I keep getting like you're gonna get messages through food I'm like wait that's a movie <laughs> it has a very good sense of humor so I I see that like you're eating like spaghetti that's what I'm seeing is is mm -hmm. kind of a it's it's not maybe not spaghetti spaghetti or some kind of a pasta meal and that mm -hmm. you're getting information there so they have to do with um you know like being like maybe that's part of your life path like like the nutritional um eating good stuff raises your vibration, you know? Mm -hmm. And yeah. so, um, have you done a video on that? Yeah, I've done a video on that. Exactly. Okay. Did you have another question? Oh, I think that's all. And yeah, thank you so okay. much. Let me see if, if there's you have anything else, <laughs> tell me. Yeah, let me see if there's anything else that comes <clears> through. <throat> you were on the right path. You were on the right path. And um, the, the little boy that's around you, mm -hmm. He said that he came to you the first time that you felt abandoned and he's been with you ever since. Oh. <laughs> and that he's going to stay with you. So cute. <laughs> yeah, that's nice, huh? It's making me emotional, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will find out. I have to ask my mom about children that fast. I'm going to do a prayer to close the records. And then if, if something else comes up, let me know okay if you if you need to ask any more questions or anything okay i would like to thank the masters teachers and loved ones for their love and compassion i would like to thank the lords of the akashic records for their point of view and i would like to thank the holy spirit of light for all knowledge and healing the records are now closed i'm in the records are now closed i'm in the records are now closed i'm in okay so you don't have to be psychic to get into the akashic records if you want, I can forward you this prayer and, and you can try it. I practice going into my records all the time. And, mm -hmm. um, and sometimes I, I, it's always different stuff, you know, that like, like my records are, are very specific and my dad's always there. My dad has passed mm -hmm. on. My dad's always there sitting in a blue folding chair. I have no idea why <laughs> he's sitting in a blue folding chair. And, and then I have like three <laughs> spirits that that are my masters and teachers but it's different for everybody else you know every, not everybody else has that same yeah yeah type of thing so how does it come the information when you access your akashic records does it come in form of visuals or thoughts or how does it work or for I each do, person differently probably each person is different and mm -hmm. i get i get thoughts and visions and like like someone is speaking directly to me mm -hmm. a lot of times um, I know some people feel different things and, and hear different things, you know, like they'll, they'll, um, hear like something outside of themselves, you know, mm -hmm. me, it's mainly, it's mainly like somebody talking inside my head kind of a thing. And then, um, like when we were talking about oranges, you know, like, like I get like a vision of an orange or orange juice or an, a little mm -hmm. orange piece of material. So, so like a picture pops up sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's usually like the simplest form of whatever they're trying to show me. It's, it's mm -hmm. a very simple, clear picture. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And what made you to get into this? Cause uh, I saw your video when you said that you've done, someone did a uh, reading for you and then it was so fascinating for you that. So helpful. So very mm -hmm. helpful. The reason that I looked into it is because, um, was it two or three different people? Three, I believe. One one person told me that um, I could help heal ancestral mm -hmm. stuff for people. And um, one of my clients asked me if I had ever done any work in the Akashic Records. And then like a couple of days later, one of my tarot friend readers, she, she said, I think you should find out about the Akashic Records. I'm like, all right. <laughs> you know, like just kept coming at me. So I'm like, okay, I have to, I have to find out about the Akashic records now. And so somehow I found Debbie Ritter and got a reading from mm -hmm. her and then she teaches certification classes. So it mm -hmm. was really, really great. I'm so yeah, glad. She's amazing. Was. I was so interested about the records, but I was even looking up how to access it, but I think I'm doubting my abilities that I can get the information probably because I have this idea that oh you know you have to be born with certain abilities but it's not true because we all have that yes we just don't know how to harness it yeah yeah and so asking I think is a big thing you know asking mm -hmm. for permission and asking for um the abilities mm -hmm. 
and being open to whatever works to you, I think is a big thing. Yeah. And, um, and I do think that you have those abilities. I think that, that the past life doctor stuff is kind of, you're like, I want to go there, but I don't really want to go there, go there, you know? Yeah, yeah. it's true. Because even before this reading, I was a little bit reserved. What if I find out something that, you know, I, I was a little bit nervous, to be honest, that's what I'm going to find out. But I knew I was super curious, but I had this fear, a little bit of a fear, I think, that mm -hmm. I might access something that I don't know how to handle. I don't think that spirit ever... No, no, that's, that's just the wrong, you know, distorted belief. That... Yeah, I think it's safe. I think that it's safe. It is safe, yeah. And and at some point you might find out something that's not necessarily pleasant, but you'll be able to handle it when you do, you know. Yeah, because otherwise you wouldn't find out because you yeah. find out when you are ready. Yeah. Yeah. I was ready for this reading. That's why you showed up. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh, over the past few months next few months, you have to tell me how your salad eating goes because I want to know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, happen. exactly. Because that, <laughs> that was a big emphasis put on the salad. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, one more question I, I forgot yeah. when you saw the, the guides how many there were because I know that you couldn't see them clearly but did you get any number or masculine or feminine energies no um I didn't get any masculine or feminine um I believe that there were four mm -hmm. and and usually they're just like a swirling light kind of a thing to me mm -hmm. so that's um usually usually when I go into someone's records there is someone that is um like in physical form like mm -hmm. like a someone a loved one or something that's passed on but no one like that showed up for you just the little boy and he said that he was not a guide all right this was really a lot of information i have to digest all this and uh yeah i i'm sure like things are gonna get clear in my mind you have a lot to offer though you know and um and i I think that you don't want to hold back so much anymore or like otherwise no, no. you wouldn't have scheduled this with me not so. anymore i'm still reserved <laughs> a bit you know because it's my first kind of interview like zoom i'm a bit shy in general <laughs> but yeah it was a comfort zone stretching thing as well this one i think that the world needs you and um you're serving a purpose so thank you i can say the same thing about you oh thank you thank you, you are a light and you yeah you helped me a lot today awesome that makes me so happy thank you <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for this reading uh, it was really enlightening if someone wants to book a reading with you then i will link your channel as well in the description below i'm so glad i'm i i hope that it really is helpful to you and thank you so much for allowing me to do thank this you part. as well